Hello guys, what's going on? I'm happy to see here one more day uh, commenting the quarterfinals of the loser bracket here with Mateus. What's up, Mateus? How you feel? Fine, fine. Uh, so for this round, we have um, Ludwig Hallström, uh, which is uh, Thesis, against uh, Christian from Denmark, which is Dark Paladin. So let's go into this match. I really hope this match isn't uh, like um, Rocket Deck because I hate Rocket Deck. <laughs> well, I really hate them. Well, Christian did in fact play Rockets for like the entire I tournament. I hope he's gonna play Shadows or some shit like that. I'm pretty sure he's playing Rockets. But um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, here we see. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Yeah, so we have Rockets. So he's starting off. Um, uh, we'll see if he has combo. Because it's... I hope he has it. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to tell from the two cards here. Because they don't do anything alone. Like, for the reminder of the combo, it depends on his hand. So let's see if he has, like, a safer. He can summon of the uh, Darkness Metal Dragon. Or... A tracer, or yeah, just let's see. What do you think our lovely teammate uh, is playing? I think um, Ludwig is playing Salmon Great for another round. He did play uh, Salmon Great for most of the tournament, um, so it's a safe bet. He knows the deck. Yeah. Okay. So we see a Veiler on the red eyes. Mm. Okay, interesting. So that might be a turn-ending play, to be honest. Unless he has, like, a Tracer to summon of the field spell, um, etc. Well, he's able to special to, so to, oh. to rock it. Oh, yeah. he did! <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. But isn't that his fifth summon? Yeah, it is. That's maybe why... Um, do, do, you smell, do, you, do you smell yeah. the big round? Yeah, do the thinking the on someone. Not the hmm, but the think. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> bro. Good job. Not I'm thinking. <laughs> so you see the Nibiru come down. Um, unfortunately for Christian, there is no um, Heavenly Spheres on his side of the field. So, it's not able to float it to, into anything. So, yeah. Mm, this is gonna hurt. But he's thinking, so he might have something in response. Which uh, character can negate um, Nibiru Hand? Uh, not negate, but he can maybe do like, something to gain advantage. Uh, let's see what it does. So we changed the tracer to destroy the minor rocket. Um, mm -hmm. So during the end phase of the turn it was destroyed, it is able to summon a rocket from the deck. So it just well, gives him a free summon on the end phase, essentially. And it summons the recharger now. At this point, the rocket guy knows uh, which deck he's playing in. Yeah, it's just safe to assume it's Alma Great because yeah. he played the deck for the, most of the tournament, and we see two hand traps, including Wailer. And Wailer is not, not that common to play in all decks, mainly Correct. like hand trap decks. So. Correct. So we see a big Yo. token. <laughs> yeah, like 5,500 defense? Yeah. 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 4,400 attack. Yes. It's a big token. Um, yeah. I don't think that he has any more plays. Um, yeah, now we see it here. Probably he's just gonna set. Yeah. I, uh, I hear it. Okay, he's gonna pass. Uh, Nibiru is actually really strong against both of these decks. Um, Salman Great and Rocket. So... Yeah, Nibiru is, the, is a really good card in general. It is. It depends on like certain matchups, but 
overall is really strong. Yeah, and now we see the confirmation okay. that he is playing after all. Oh no, great. Or oh, maybe he's we... playing. <laughs> he's playing Ignis, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah, we thought it like was in um... the finals. How the yeah. fuck are you gonna play in the finals, Ignister, brother? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know why they did that, but we'll see. Um, so Please. we see the impermanence on the debug, which is pretty strong. Debug yeah, is, um, debug is like, you know what you're getting when you activate the debug. You know that you're gonna get the um, standard like it's small not. combo with the gazelle. Um, but on the other hand, debug loses to like every disruption <laughs> that is do, do you do you think right now with two cars like imagine like um our lovely teammate doesn't have anything to to play in he can beat a 5500 death car because the only thing he's playing uh cerberus or mm, yeah Unicorn. that's true but which car he can destroy like this big token <laughs> rage, but rage, yeah. yeah. But you have a point there, actually. But we will see if Ludwig has any extenders, to be honest. But I don't think so because he started with a debug, so we need to have like a will or a sunnet mining, to be honest, to be able to continue his plays. Okay, so um... he has the will. Yep. Um, but he might not have any more targets in his hand, and has to summon the bailings. And he's probably gonna go for um, what? What? Rank? He probably gonna go for rank three. Link three, you mean? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I think he might go into the phoenix actually to draw something and to uh, mainly remove Should the be. boot sector, which is a real t threat right and now. And there we go. Yeah. Yeah. I will see the second copy of the debug. <laughs> Discarded. <laughs> so it's now thinking. For a quiet a long while. Oh! Oh my god. Mm. This is really strong. So now he's able to get the gazelle, trigger it by making a wolf with the phoenix and the bailings. And get back the rage he sent, as well as a roar that he can send off the gazelle. This is well, looking really good for Ludwig now. Oh my god. This that's... is looking at GG for game one yeah. because he just have the, the token, but you can destroy it with the rage. Yeah, and, and... Right in the graveyard and two cards in hand, like. Yeah, oof. That uh, top take of Ludwig is really good. And one of them you can probably negate with the roar, right? Because yeah. you're probably gonna send uh, with Gazelle the roar. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Shit, man. Yeah. That was a really strong uh, draw of Ludwig to be able to get the um, side of the top. Yeah, because he get. Um... <clears throat> impermanence in the debug and that hurts a lot. Yeah. But uh yeah that's the I main think, uh difference I between really think debug. He the cinematic mining. I really think he draw the cinematic mining. Yeah he did. He did. Okay. But um yeah that's uh, one of the major differences between debug and uh, flame buffalo that debug loses to like every disruption there is while buffalo plays really well into disruptions. So um, that's like the main difference between them. But on the other hand, Debug needs like nothing else. You just summon it and use the effect. While Buffalo needs a discard target. And yeah. I think like in a more fast combo oriented format, that Debug is pretty nice. But like in slower formats, like in a, when Striker was one of the best decks, then Buffalo was amazing. Because you just need to like grind for Ooh. many turns. This card is huge. Is mm. he gonna activate the roar? Yeah, he might actually. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. He, he should. He has the roar to destroy two, two, two cards in the field. Yeah, like. the rage. 
Yeah, he uses the roar. Right, and um, yeah, Christian concedes. Yeah, he realized that that hand was too much to handle. I don't think that most decks are able to play through that as well. But um, it showcases that uh, also, like it says here, that the Phoenix play was really well. It was, because he was able to draw into the card, which made his turn the best so play. much the best. better. Yeah, It removed a big threat while being uh, making him able to draw into something strong, which it did. So that was a really uh, good play of Ludwig. It was a safe uh, play, yeah. and you do, you draw you draw a car, and he draw the the big the big the big car. That's not it. <laughs> the biggest car. <laughs> the dream. So now it's another game where um, Christine is starting That's with this rocket deck. Like really mainly beer now. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah I think so. I think any deck <laughs> mainly beer right now. <laughs> it depends, but. Yeah, it's really common for like Salmogate to main it because it's so good against so many decks, and you're playing a lot of hand traps regardless. So, and it's also really strong in the mirror, which I think you will see a lot more from now on in this format. Now that Salmogate is just so strong, I hope so. But on the other hand, we have the arrival of the Eldritch deck, which <laughs> plays so few monsters. So. If the Eldritch deck starts to like dominate the format, then and the Nibiru might not be so good to main deck anymore. But I will we, tell... we'll... we don't know if the um, if Eldritch gonna destroy the format, but yeah. in Jap in the OCG at least they have a ten percent of winning tournaments. Yeah, and... it's a good meta deck there. The thing is, like, they have a lot of good cards. Like, they don't have banned the um, the, um, the orc deck. The um, ah, what's the card? I forgot the name. Uh, the card. Got it. Mm, the card. Uh, Konami banners. The Arp. Arp. Harper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. the OCG, they have Harper legal. Yeah, they That's... have the the new mech. Uh, yeah, yeah, new yeah. Mech car. Yeah. And still punch index. And uh, they also have like their dragoon as well. So as well, that's true. That's yeah, so true. they have like a lot tougher almost meta game. Or like depends on how you view it. But so we'll see with the Eldritch deck. Do, do you remember the Dragoon effect? I forgot it. Mm, yeah. Um <laughs> so it's really easy to summon because Red Ass Fusion is able to summon from the deck. And you can set it off Anaconda. Um, I think I think it can't be targeted. It can negate a monster effect, and when it negates a monster effect, it destroys it and gains one thousand attack forever. I think. I'm not completely sure on the effect, but I think that's roughly it. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're yeah, able against, to sit against on the it. Else, so. It's easy because you have the trap the, um, who can destroy. Yeah. Me? And it, well. And the, me trap doesn't, the trap doesn't target as well. They just oh, So. I think, <laughs> at least. Um, yeah, we're doing a commentary talking about Eldish and the OCG Fairman. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> he's yeah. combing the, the Love of the Rocket deck. While we have the top 10 decks of the TCG format. Uh, right between before us, so we see the spheres being summoned early, which are really good play because in the case of Nibiru, because if you get Nibiru, then the spheres will float and be able to summon like a Red Ice Metal Flare Dragon from the deck or Brotar, so or whatever you need to be honest. This so, is uh, well, we'll see. But with this hand right now, I think he can do a lot of things. Yeah. At least, at least to yeah, summon like the the synchro. The tracer plus uh, absorotor is full combo, or like it's combo. But he got impermanence, so it depends on his hand if he has extenders. So he mentions that it pops to add, 
which is important because of the effect of the recharger. So this might mean that he has the recharger in hand, but I'm not sure. Hmm. So we see on Levenier come down, most likely. Um, yeah, we're just able to hand loop him from, for one card. You don't think this impermanence was a bit greedy? No. no. I think it was fine. Because it's important to resolve the tracer to combo. All right. <clears throat> so Ludwig is thinking on the summon of the Nibir of the Levinier. and it might be a Nibiru, but he lets it go through. Bro, if it's a Nibiru, man, shit! Oh, the the we are playing dangers. Okay. <laughs> no, it's the Levinier. but uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but um, he might not want the Nibiru because. That um, Chris uh, Christian might not have any other plays. And if he, yeah, and if he Nibirus now, the spheres will be able to give him like red ice battle, fair dragon, etc. So that's Correct. why he might have not Nibirus if he had it because he was thinking. So, but um, only the spheres from uh, Christian. So it's not a strong opening, but it's a. Okay, opening a Salmon Great because the Spheres is one of the strongest, um, I guess you can say, disruptions like a Salmon Great because if you are able to bounce a normal summon, then that hurts sometimes a lot. But um, we see that Ludwig is trying to enter the battle phase, uh, which might uh, mean that he has evenly. He said, I'm just gonna plug in my laptop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We will see, we will see. I think it's a bit baitish, like you say, okay, I'm thinking about the summon. Because if yeah, you don't maybe. have the Nibiru and you say that, you just pass the turn and you don't have Nibiru. And yeah. So like but, you're playing 40 Nibirus in the deck. <laughs> but I feel like it will also be nice for Christian to be, Nib to be Nibiru because he's able to use this fierce effect then. To summon something and maybe combo, mm -hmm. but we see the evil in match. We will never chains, know. It changed the sphere to bounce something. Okay, so to bounce his own eleven air to the hand. So he has the um, eleven air for follow up play, and now Seal is able to use his effect. Yeah, this is literally minus one. <laughs> Yeah, but like in a way it makes sense because we are not able to spheres bounce the evenly and if you use the spheres on like Levenir, which he did, you have the Levenir for next turn and you are able to trigger the spheres effect because you resolved it to summon something. So I think <clears> this was a really well play by Christian actually because he gets back the Levenir and summons something from the deck while keeping his back row. Which is probably like an imperm or something, I guess. Something worth protecting. So it's almost a tracer. What what does our lovely teammate has? That's the question. Just three cards in hand. Oh, oh so he has the gazelle. Opa. And it's met by the imperm. So this might actually be a really strong imperm because he normal summoned the gazelle. So he might exactly. not have any other salmon great monsters. And uh, or um or, or, or um, extenders. And now we see an interesting play of Christian. He destroys the imperm to summon um rockets from the deck. Which I think it's a really good play actually. Everything in the opening turn. Yes. He probably just go gonna for just gonna play the the standard combo like uh bailing the, the, like the bailing surge and another bailing and pass. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And set one card probably. I don't know. 
Ooh, they must shoot. have uh, <laughs> imagine if he has drawn the sanctuary. <laughs> that would be so sad. Yeah, so yo, that's game three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, okay, he, he used the belly effect, so he hadn't drawn it. He might have some of the traps or the um, desires, so we'll see if he sets anything. Oh, okay, so we didn't use the sanctuary either. Okay, he's just gonna pass? Yeah, I think it's, it's interesting, but... Um, He might have like an, another Nibiru or something as well, but I don't see why he didn't want to. He didn't want to use the field spell. But if uh, Christian has a good hand, he's able to start off with Savage Dragon and secure a negate for any hand traps. And it well, does. he pr he can he can yeah. probably bait uh, a second Evelyn match. Yeah, 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 maybe, yeah, maybe, that's true. But who but cares about to, the second level? Yeah, like... he started, he started with Savage Dragon. So depending on his hand, he might be able to do a big push here, maybe in UTK him, while having a negate for any potential hand traps. So, and he has the safer. So safer alone is like a lot. <laughs> it's literally a half a combo, full combo, right? Yeah, but he has to spare already. So we see the Ash come down. Um, and did, he gets the Ash. Do you enjoy, like, the rock deck? It's okay. Like, uh, the, the, like, the strength of the rocket deck, I think it's also the weakness. Because the strength of the rocket deck is that you have like one two card combos so you're able to easily main like hand traps etc but mm -hmm. because you're maining out of hand traps etc i think that you just play worse through um disruptions and hand traps so yeah but personally i'm not the biggest fan of rockets i was testing the deck for ycs charlotte which unfortunately got cancelled but I don't think well, I would have played it in the end, to be honest. You're probably gonna go for the Salad, right? Your lovely deck. Salmon <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Or um, Elvish <laughs> or something. Oh, I also, uh, I also really like Orcus as well, this format. So, yeah. We will see. A what? normal Orcus, remember. Normal Orcus. Yeah. Not my uh, needle fiber steam orchest. Rip. Rest in peace. <laughs> so. Okay, he skipped with the combo slowly and slowly, trying yeah. to figure out everything. <clears throat> he had the baby dragon regardless, even though the safer got ashed, which is really strong. Um, yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> Christian asks, that's four summons, right? <laughs> so he might be thinking like, shit, I need to play around the beer now. But I don't think like you can respect it almost, to be honest. Like, if he has it, he has it. And, uh, yeah. Or actually, never mind. He, he, he negated the Ash, so that's why he had the baby dragon. But, um, yeah, like I said, I don't think you can respect the second Nibiru, to be honest, because... You think oh, no, so, oh or... no, okay, that was the last game. Oh, yeah, never mind what I said. Sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, he, he still can have yeah, it. Yeah, he might have Nibiru, actually. This is the other game. The first game went so quick, I thought this was the same game. <laughs> Let's see what he goes for here. And he has the 11 there in hand because he bounced it back with the spears. Um, actually. So even if he get like Nibiru, like soon, uh, he is able to hand loop one card from Ludwig. And Ludwig will need to top deck something. And he doesn't have at that point any more gazelles in his deck. So 
because it's in the graveyard. Mm. If he has the Nibiru, what's the the correct moment to use it? Not yet, I think. Like when it starts threatening with like Alpi or something like that, uh, then I think it's good time. Okay. Like red dice, metal flare, etc. Now we use the recharger to summon back um, something. But Savage Zone can negate the no the because you negate the ash. And it's only it's ah, only once per turn. Yeah, true, true. I didn't see it. I, didn't see it. I missed the ash. Okay. Yeah, you stay on the ash. So yeah, Christian might be scared of a Nibiru right now. Um, but let's see what it does. So use Tracer on the Heretic to destroy it, to summon a one monster from the deck. And now he's locked into Dark Monster from the extra deck. Hmm. So. Mm -hmm. But he has like four cards in his hand. I think no, one I of them should... is Levinier and one of them is the field spell, but yes, still two more unknown cards. I forget who won the first duel. Uh, it was Ludwig. The okay. Senate planning top deck, right? Ah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. yeah it, it could be right now a 1 1 and going for the game three. Yeah, like, like Ludwig doesn't have that much going for him, even if he has Nibiru. He will need like a good top take because his opponent has the Levenir in hand. So his opponent goes into Ooh, battle phase that's true. and tries to push, uh, which is, I think I say a good play actually because it's a really safe play. And you're able to hand loop for one most likely regardless. Um, so, yeah. So now we can uh, push. Oh, it's actually game on board. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah, it says so. Uh, so end of main phase. Yeah, see the Nibiru come down. But it's still not looking good for Ludwig, to be honest, because um, his opponent has a big token. He's able to summon a Levinir to a spin back the token. last. Yeah, he is able to spin back the last card in Ludwig's hand, or he can Spanish. Um, Yo, or Token has eight thousand eight 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 thousand two hundred attack. No, is it possible? Eight thousand eight hundred, it seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like something Shit, like that, man. Or like eight seven, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> The Giga token in the middle. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So they find out the stats, and now he's thinking. So um. Huge. So the thing is that um, Christian is like uh one month light monster away from being able to use the light effect of. Levinir to summon something back. However, he can hand loop the sanctuary from his hand. Ah, that's true. He just have one card in sanctuary. Yes, and he is also able to even spin it away to the deck with the Levinir if he goes for that, which he did. Yeah. So now Ludwig needs to top deck something and something good. <laughs> Otherwise. He has a really big <laughs> token coming down on him the next turn. Um, and Christian might even have more, as he has two more cards in his hand. So let's see here. I think it's super difficult, super, super hard to to win right now. For Ludwig? Yeah, so hard. Yeah. Gonna go for the 2-2. Two, two. Look at the token, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it's a monster. Yeah. Okay, you're just gonna 
which car you have to draw? Gazelle? Gazelle is in the graveyard. Gazelle is, it is a graveyard. Like, <laughs> like, hello? It can, like, even if you draw, like, Will, it's not enough because you're not able to remove the token. So, yeah. Yeah, he admits defeat. And that's un that's <laughs> understandable. <laughs> so right, let's go for the name three. And Ludwig is starting. Yeah, shoot, shoot. He should. Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, he is starting. So let's see. James, yes, I'm at mining. That's a good start. Oh, I miss clicking and so the hand. Oh, you, you already this hand. I, I will not say any spoilers, so, but <laughs> guys, uh, prepare, prepare. Okay, so we have a jaguar prepare. and a gazelle. So he has at least rage and roar. Mm, yeah. He has to rage good and roar. It is a, it's a really good opening. And he has two more unknown cards as well. So he needs to hope that his opponent doesn't have an Ibiru. Because if his opponent has an Ibiru, that rage and roar will become like <laughs> not that amazing <laughs> if he doesn't true. have any. This, this, is the fifth, this is the fifth summon? Uh, no. One, two, three, no. Wolf is the fourth. And I think most likely he will... Okay, he won't. So a good play is to... Is to have the wolf as the fourth summon. And then summon the, the jaguar or whatever that will trigger the wolf as the fifth. So even if you get Nibiru, you will get the gazelle back. So if he had not gone for the play he did here. Which gives him an extra body on the field though. So this play gives you one more monster. But if you do the play I mentioned, then you will also have um, you will have a gazelle even if you get a bird. So he has the rage and the roar. Hmm. Interesting. He. We will see. He has one gazelle and two cards. No, as we said. So most likely passing here. Three. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Four, Is he playing Palio now? <laughs> <laughs> Four back. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's a really, really strong opening, it seems like. Having Rage Roar and two more. Um, and two more. So he goes into the main phase one. So at least one of them is an anti spell. Otherwise, he would have used it in the stamina phase. Okay. Let's see. Just thinking. Double storm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Like, at the, like lightning storm is like a really strange card against Salmon Grid, I think. Like, on the one hand, it's one of the strongest... Or like, on one hand, the traps of the Salmon Grid deck is like one of the more scary part of the deck. But on the other hand, they sometimes just have like one or none traps and have the hand traps instead. So it's like sometimes it's really strong and sometimes it's quite a awkward. But I think that I really the good parts of the card sword. just waits up for it. I really feel Lightstream is a very um, unskilled card, you know? I think it's actually a really okay card. Actually. I think it's an amazing car. Like, no, but like it has uh, restrictions. Like, yeah, the restriction is like don't destroy monsters in death. But you can have your opponent, you know. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah, because you, you, the you, the you are not a boomer guy, and you probably <laughs> didn't play a heavy storm or giant right in your deck. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no but you see guy. the different dimension grounds, which is really strong. Oh. Yeah, having the rage roar and the different dimension grounds, that's huge. And there was no evenly or lightning storm from Christian because otherwise he wouldn't have normal summon the monster first. 
<coughs> yeah. Well, oh, that's huge, man. Yeah. Uh, if he passes, he loses. Yeah, he can't pass. He has to do something. He has to play. He must. He must yeah, but something. like, if it doesn't do anything, that's straight up game. So, yeah. He will be able to OTK with that roar to protect his place if he doesn't do anything. But he has to rage in the roar. It's looking really bad for Steel. Really bad. Striker Dragon. He's gonna go for it. What's the field spell? Now you can summon up the two, I guess. So let's see if he has two, or one, or none. <laughs> if he wants to do that play. I think the field spell of the deck is really nice. And that you're able to summon it off, or the add it of the Striker Dragon is also insane. Oh! Okay, oh. so we see the order. Yeah. So Ludwig is <laughs> shutting it, him off of the graveyard and change. from spells. Okay. He changed a quick launch. So he gets some value out of it, I guess. That's fine. Well, okay. Perfect. He activated the launch, but... Dude, he already he already activated dimensional dimension on ground, different dimension on ground. Yeah, and yeah. he is still having the rage and the roar. Yeah, know? the order is like overkill almost. Like it's. Dude, uh, a second one. Okay. So I guess he's getting like value of his spells now. <laughs> um. And he now he he he, he should uh, negate it. No, um, it depends on what it takes, but yeah, most likely. I think depending on his hand, he will. Yo, hmm. you don't think it's a bad play right now using this comic cyclone? No. He just should change the. I oh, no no no. He did well. He did very well. Yeah. He bait he bait the roar, okay yeah. Yeah, because if he did cosmic cyclone and the roar, his two launches will be dead. But because uh -huh. he did, yeah, because he did launch and then his opponent didn't roar, he yeah, could yeah, use yeah, the sure. others. Yeah. For sure. So if he if uh, Ludwig had roared the first launch, then he would have a dead launch and cosmic cyclone in the hand. But like he could not be aware of that, like of Ludwig, course, and Ludwig played it right, like, did it correct. Perfectly, yeah. And right now he's gonna just summon two monsters. That monster can be destroyed and banish it, and he's probably gonna just pass turn. <laughs> Try to do some small plays. So he tries to take out the... The roar, right? The rage. The rage. Or like with the unknown. Or, yeah, he knows his rage. Yeah, he's no, he no, knows he... his rage. He knows. Because the roar yeah. was sent... To, it, to a zone, so he knows where the roar is, and then he knows the rage as well. So we will most I likely do. see a At roar. Point, he should use a roar for sure. Yeah, yeah. The rage yeah, is really? the rage is really strong against combo decks, or like stronger than the roar. It's insane the rage, bro. It's insane. Yeah. Hey, you have to pay your lifetime, your life points, bro. 1,000! <laughs> Maybe he just realized it's over. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me. So let's see what he summons here. Rosie has really good feel right now, like... No. Should be... We'll see. We'll see what uh, Dark Planet 70 can do right now. Yeah, he has still two cards in his hand, um, and but he has used his normal summon. The field spell is negated, so yeah, that hurts hell. Yeah, and like, it, like if he has a baby dragon, then that's dead because he can't banish anything from the graveyard. <laughs> uh, Safer is dead because it's a normal summon. Yo, a um, Tracer is insane car. Like, Tracer? 
Yeah, Trade Fest is really good. You know, like, right now, you can, like, the cards say, you can just charge the one face up. I, yeah, one face of card you control, destroy it, and then you spiritual summon. Like, you, you, it's like, it's not like you have to send the card to the graveyard. That's the yeah. Same. So let's see what he makes here. He's thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's understandable. Like, at the in this cost situation. of Tracer, at the cost of Tracer, you could, like, use Rage. Probably. Yeah, if you feel so, like he might not be even threatened by the tracer. So he might just hold it to something more something bigger. Another striker, so he's able to add back <laughs> something if he wants to. But I don't think he wants to. So he's thinking again, yeah. Yeah, like, it's really hard for Christian, to be honest. So, this is Tracer to target uh, the field spell. You cannot let them, uh, let him use the, um, the, the seal, the zero attack monster, right? Mm -hmm. The big monster with zero attack, the, the like, seal. But, like, it's okay as well, because even if he makes it, uh... You're able to destroy stuff, and you still have the gazelle in the hand and the gaz and the jaguar in the graveyard. So I think it's fine, like to be honest. So he makes the basically yes. here. Okay. Which is a really good play, I think, because he's able to use the striker or no, but he can use the strikers. Dragons to make something and then use the Pisty effect to summon into the zone that Pisty and the wolf points to. But he has the rage, I guess, so. No. Yeah. He's waiting, he's waiting. Yeah. There's no need to. Oh, this double launch, this double, I, this double launch and the cyclone was insane. Yeah, it was really good. It was insane, bro. So he makes the Dillingeras dragon. So what it essentially does, like the relevant effect, is that um, uh, if it's in a graveyard. If you summon a rocket, you can summon it from the graveyard as well. But since he can't summon any from the <laughs> graveyard, <laughs> it's like it's a uh, link to, I guess. Well, but now um, it's important. This well, he now he can summon every anything with Pisty, right? From the deck? Mm, no, from the banished. From the banished, okay. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. But he might just rage the Pisty and the Dillingeros at this point. To be honest, yeah. The Dillingeros? Yeah, the, the Link. Not not the Magga Rocket? Mm, or maybe. Like, I don't think it matters too much, but... Mm -hmm. well, like... Okay. Removing the Pisty is the, the important part. Because I don't see no, for sure. <laughs> what kind of extenders he will even have. <laughs> At this point, because he already, he already normal summon. No, he right? normal summon to use his spells. Mm -hmm. um, he can't banish anything for chaos dragons, so I don't All think right. he has any more extenders. I don't see what those would be in like at that point. He could summon maybe like a red destructive spell dragon from the hand, of banishing that a minor rocket. And then summoning another one from the hand, but it will do like nothing. So, but this game is Ludwig's, I think. It, it was be. really, really strong opening. This Empire Order with the uh, Rage, Roar, and of course the Dimensional, the, uh, yeah. the dimensional Ground. Yeah, I don't think like <laughs> any deck is able to play through that, to be honest. Like. Yeah. Mm. Almost. The bailies. Okay, yeah. I'll manage the bailies. Yeah, it's. Don't care. 
He doesn't really care. And he just passes turn. So it's Ludwig's turn. He didn't say anything. He's just going to pass. Okay. Maybe he has the Nibiru. Mm, yeah, he might. Like, there's a chance of him having Nibiru because he went second. So. So Ludwig is probably starting to turn by adding back the rage. Uh, yep. <laughs> Harry says, before you kill me, I gotta ask. What is gonna ask? <laughs> you always open like this? <laughs> but he might be also bluffing him to going into OTK and then Nibirum him. That might also be the case. So if he's like trying to bait him into like pushing hard, and then we see the Nibiru come down, um, it might not be over yet. But let's see. But if he actually has game, then if there is no disruptions from Christian, then that's game. So think of just normal summon the gazelle, send some like extender. And then going for like update jammer transcode combo with the wolf as well. They're piling, bro. Just add me the fit, bro. Come on. Or show me something you can do. Ah, oh, you're gonna go for the game. Yep. Yeah. Okay, you go for zero boss instead, but it's essentially the same. It's yeah. at uh, yeah. For eight right now, so that's seven thousand eight hundred damage, and we see no Nibiru from Christian. It seems like and that should be the game. G G G G. <laughs> oh, this is a good game. Yeah, it was. It was nice game. Yeah, congrats to Ludwig advancing to the semi-finals of the loser bracket. Um, don't forget to check out uh, the links in the description down below. Subscribe to our YouTube page uh, and uh, join our Facebook group Frozen Card Series online for future um, tournaments. See you guys next time. Bye-bye, boys. Bye.